I'm Michelle Karam with Modern Mom and I'm here today to tell you how to make lentil couscous. And we're not vegetarian in our family, but the nights that we do go vegetarian, this is my go-to dish. So come with me, let's go on this journey and let's cook. You could either serve this as your main dish, or if you wanted to, you could go ahead and fry up some vegetarian patties or hamburger patties, serve this on the side, kind of do a combo thing. It's very homey, very basic, so let's get started. Start out with, what else? A little bit of olive oil. And I'm probably using about like a tablespoon or two, not much. And I'm gonna add to that some chopped onion. And already, we're getting started and I'm not looking to get much color on it. I just want to get that raw onion flavor out of it, kind of turn it translucent. And then I'm going to add my red bell pepper. And this is just one red bell pepper that I've chopped up, nothing fancy. Once again, same thing, not looking for much color on it, just trying to get the raw taste out. Cook that down for a minute or two. And then I have lentils. Now I can get these in my supermarket already cooked and done. You can go ahead and use raw lentils if you want to that aren't cooked, but this just makes the cooking process a little bit easier. So my local supermarket, lentils already cooked, winner in my book. So I'm gonna add these lentils, and we'll just put that in. It's one whole package of lentils. Incorporate it. And at this stage in the game, this is when I like to do my first set of seasoning. Now, I like to season every step of the way just because I think it just allows the flavors just to get in there. So basic, little bit of salt, little bit of pepper. Not too much because we'll season it again. Always remember, if you add too much, you can't take it away. So add little by little by little, keep going, building the flavors that way because once you do it, it's too far gone. Ain't nothing you can do to bring it back. So salt, little bit of pepper, Let's let that cook down for a few more minutes. And there we go, beautiful. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our tomatoes. One tomato chopped, that's it. Mix it in there. Give it a stir. Now if you're thinking to yourself, this already I am never going to be able to get my children to eat this meal. They, they will look at this, take one look at it and say, mom, gross, I don't even want it. Trust me when I tell you, if you can get them past that first bite and be creative about it, do something fun at the table with them, distract them, whatever you have to do, they're gonna take that first bite and they're gonna keep coming back for more. So just get them past that. So it's really good. This is baby chopped spinach and all I've done is I've just gotten just a handful out of a bag of baby spinach that I have, chopped it up adding that to it. You could also use, if you wanted to use herbs, you could use basil in there instead for your green, fresh parsley. That also will work nicely. And the next thing is garbanzo beans, or chickpeas as they're known. Tons of vitamins in these, absolutely delicious. And this is just one can, and rinse them though. Make sure you do rinse them because they are in, you know, a bunch, there's a bunch of sodium in there. You wanna make sure you rinse all of that off. So rinsed and drained, one can garbanzo beans. You could serve this cold as a salad, and maybe if you wanted to take it the non-vegetarian route, you could grill up a couple pieces of chicken, put those on top, or maybe a few pieces of shrimp, serve this for lunch with your friends, you see where I'm going. And then we are going to add our couscous. And this is Israeli couscous, it's a little bit bigger. Um, it'll have more of like a pasta texture to it, so your kids might be more inclined to eat this. Straight out of the box, there's a cup and a half of couscous right here, and we're just gonna, once again, incorporate this. Give it a mix, combine it, and it just looks so pretty. Now one of our last ingredients that we're going to add is some tomato paste. And this is tomato paste with herbs in it. It's got Italian seasoning in it. You could use plain tomato paste if you wanted to. I like this for color. I like it just to add more flavor to it. And I'm using a very small amount as you can see. I don't even, I'm not even going to use that entire amount. Just gonna mix that in there. It'll add a nice color. Now in terms of seasoning for this, you could put in there some cayenne pepper, some cumin, all of those flavors, smoky, earthy, really good, things that go along well with it. We're gonna give this another little sprinkle of salt. 
And then I'm going to add two cups of water to this. And this is going to cook everything down. It really is beautiful, it really is vibrant. It's, it smells really good already. So once we get this going to a little bit of a boil, we're going to reduce the heat down from high heat to medium heat. We're going to put the cover on top of it and we're going to let it cook for 15 to 17 minutes. And you'll see it kind of will puff up a little bit and you'll see the couscous will have opened up and look like just beautiful pearls of pasta and it'll be delicious. So let's let this come to a boil. We'll cover it, we'll be right back. So my couscous has cooked down and it looks really good, it's creamy, it's full of flavor, and I'm just gonna add one last ingredient. I've got a couple green scallions here that I've just chopped. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm not gonna let it cook too much in there because I want the crunch in there, so that adds you know, some good texture to it, and it adds more color and flavor, and oh, this just looks divine. I could go vegetarian anytime with this dish. So. If you so want to venture into the vegetarian world, this would be a great way to start it. It's flavorful, delicious, and it's lentil couscous. Be sure to check out more videos just like these on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching.